Kevin Cruz, and this is my string prediction videos. Today I got a video for you guys, stuck in a big fight uh, coming up in April. I already did a video on this fight uh, because, you know, the it's not many good fights so far on boxing this year. It's starting to heat up. You got Canelo Bivol. You got uh, some other good fights on the radar. You know, Davis and Romero. Um, I'll probably do some prediction videos on that, whatnot. But, like, let's talk about this fight. Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. You got, uh, you know, two people in the 1%. Um, but, so, here's my, here's my take on it. You got Valdez, you know, he's in the 1%. But then you got Shakur. He's in the 1% of the 1%, in my opinion. What I see right now from the eye test, you know, he's got the confidence. He's got the, the team around him. He's got the, you know, um, speed, strength, size, length, you know, pedigree coming in, footwork. He, he's got it all. You know, and mostly, you know, I think is the confidence is really a big one. It's a really big one. I'm not saying Valdez isn't confident, but, uh, you know, if I, if I have to put my money on this fight, which I will, because I've been getting my ass kicked in the fucking NBA and the big day, I mean, Jesus Christ, the NCAA tournament. I mean, God damn it. So, yeah, will I bet on Shakur? Absolutely. I'll parlay it with something because I guarantee he's going to win. So... Eh, that's that's a whole nother story, but this is going to be a good fight to bet on. I think Shakur will be like minus 200, minus 300. Valdez will be like maybe a plus 190, plus 250 right around that area. And, uh, you know, it'll be fun for the fans. It's going to be a fucking packed house. It's going to be a shit ton of Mexicans in there. But I think Stevens is going to have a lot of fans in there too. And I think he's going to gain a lot of fans. So now let's just talk about the fight, the X's and O's. It's my official prediction video. I'm probably going to do three this month or within the next month, 20, 30 days. I got like three prediction videos coming because boxing's kind of heating up a little bit. And then I'll go to shit again, but what are you going to do, right? So, um, oh, yeah, Spence and Ugas. I got to do that one too. I don't even know when that fucking fight is. And then I think I got to do, it looks like Cambosis and Haney. I don't know. I only see headlines. I never click the goddamn videos, but it looks like they've been having some back and forth, so they're about to fight. Anyways, I'll shut the fuck up talk about this video. So, Eddie Reynoso for this fight. I don't care if fucking Canelo gets knocked out by Bivol, which obviously, you know, come on. I'm not going to get into that yet. That will be for that video. But if he wins if he beats stevenson and they have a game plan to beat stevenson for this fight he's coach of the year's hand down hands down in my opinion he gets all the votes because i personally believe i don't like if i was coaching so this i'm just gonna bring it like this if i was coaching against stevenson with you know uh valdez this is exactly what i would do i would i would kind of follow the burchett blueprint okay I would just fucking throw a jab out there. I would move my head. I wouldn't be doing much. And I'd be keeping my distance. I'd be moving left. Then I'd be moving right. I'd hop back. I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I'd give them fucking two and a half to three feet in between us, right? Because I'm just going to be like, all right, Stevenson, you want to make the first move, bitch? Come on. So I would just go, I would I say, I'd go right. I would circle the ring, kind of like he did versus Burchett. I haven't watched the fight again, but I remember the Burchett Valdez fight, and he was just boring. He was just sucking Burchett in. He was just boring him to death. Or Burchett had to make a move, and then he got on his ass. Okay, that probably won't work for Stevenson, but I like I, I like I, I like that game plan. I, I do, because in my opinion. Valdez has only got two game plans. Team Valdez has only got two game plans. They do what I just said. So they're moving around the ring, moving their head, just staying away, acting like they're doing something, but they're doing nothing at all. And then, you know, when they think they lured him in or bore Shakur to death and he loses a little focus, that's when you go to the body, you come upstairs, or you jab upstairs, you go to the body, come back upstairs, you know, maybe get him on, you know, you, you circle the ring enough, you see Shakur on the ropes, and then you go for it with some hooks and uppercuts, you know, to the body and to the head. 
and they don't even have to be hard hooks and uppercuts. They just have to be hard enough for the Mexican fans in the audience to be cheering and the judges at the end of the round to be like, oh, Valdez got that round. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all strategy. It's all strategy 100%. And I'm not saying Valdez can't crack him with a fucking right hand. I'm just saying probably eight out of, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 of Valdez's punches to Shakur's head. Shakur's gonna do bloop, bloop, bloop right there. You know what I'm saying? He's just got two good feet, two good reflexes. He's gonna be blocking him with his gloves. He's, he's hard to hit. He's hard to hit. He's probably one of the most hardest people to hit in boxing, in my opinion. And he's a southpaw. So, you know, Valdez is going to have to get heavy. When Valdez and Shakur do stand up, let's say Valdez and him do get in a firefight. I mean, I still got Shakur winning in a firefight. Even when Shakur bites out on his uh, mouthpiece and goes at Valdez, I think he's too fast. I think he's got too good a head movement. And I, I think it's going to be hard for Valdez to land that perfect right hand or that perfect left hook. Or, you know, that perfect combination. So, yeah, that's it. You know, I just think Valdez has got two options. He's going to have to circle the ring, bore Stevenson and the crowd to death, and then get in. Or he just fucking, from the get, just goes to Shakur, goes right to the body, goes right to lower than the body on the belt line, if you know what I'm saying. Hits him in the elbow, gets dirty boxing uppercuts, Makes Stevenson uncomfortable as fuck. And then we got a fight on our hands. But I don't know if that can happen. I don't know. Am I crossing my fingers for it? Absolutely not. I'm betting the bank of fucking Stevenson. Um, should be NBA playoff time too. Ooh. Anyways, um, let's talk about Stevenson. You got the uh, southpaw. Alright, so Stevenson, in my opinion, you know... He, he's, he fights southpaw perfectly. He moves his feet good. All he's going to have to do for this fight, I think, is just stay. He's got to, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to, um, he could be right in there with uh, Valdez. He's just going to have to keep that jab hand out. He's going to have to angle off to the right, stay away from his right hand, you know, keep foot position, pair of the punches, jab, you know, Stevenson's got a combo, I, I can't remember right now, but he's got a combo, a go-to combo that he does, so do that combo, whatever the fuck it is, stay to the right, stay defensively sound, move your head, and it's gonna be a fucking easy night in the office for him, in, in my opinion, I mean, do I see Stevenson biting down on his mouthpiece if he gets fucking pissed off by Valdez? 100%. Because, yes, he's Olympian, yes, he's, um, you know, he's a defensive fighter, but, I mean, no one saw him fucking up Herring like he did. I mean, I, I did a video on it, um, and I said, yeah, I think Stevenson's gonna have his fucking day with Herring, you know, because he's just too fast and younger and stronger, but I didn't, think, I didn't see him fucking just getting him out, getting him out of the fight, so, you know... This could be another fight where, you know, everybody's like, well, Stevenson's going to just move around the ring and, uh, you know, just do what Stevenson's done, block punches and shit, and, uh, you know, uh, win by a decision. But don't get it twisted. If Stevenson gets in a firefight with this guy or just buckles down and moves his head, he could get Valdez out of there 100% and knock him out. He's got Puerto Rican in him. I mean, the kid's got a lot of responsibilities, it looks like, in his life. Just had a kid. You know, he's got a lot going on, and he wants to be the best. So if you want to be the best, you got to go for it like he is now fighting Valdez. So, you know, Stevenson basically to me is just, you know, going right, blocking, defensively sound, picking his shots, and uh, making a long fucking night for Valdez. So that's really it. Um, that's, that's my video. I like Stevenson in this fight, if you can't tell. I did a video earlier about this fight because it was so big. I want to give respect to both guys. You know, but I just think the cream the cream rises to the top. I think Stevenson's going to be too much for Valdez. I think Valdez is a fucking, you know, Mexican warrior, but he's just going to be t too much. I mean, Stevenson's going to be too much for Valdez, 100%. I just don't see it going any other way. And then what's next for these guys? I think Valdez is still a big dog at 130. 
I think, you know, Stevenson, in my opinion, I think he should just go up to like 35, fight fucking Davis, Camboza, Haney, go up to 40, fight fucking Josh Taylor, Tia Fimo. That's where I think what directory Shakur Stevenson on. Because he wants to be a superstar. He's not backing down. I think he needs to be multiple world champ, at, you know, multiple weight classes, multiple belts and shit like that. So that's my video, guys. I'm definitely tuning into this fight. I might be down there because I need to fucking just empty my bank account on fucking Shakur Stevenson 100%. So uh, thanks for watching my video, guys. Tune in. I'll have more prediction videos coming up. And, uh, you know, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. Watch some, you know, some of my guys I'll be coaching here very soon. Um, and that's it. Peace out.